may come as a surprise to you, but me and that beautiful black beast there. Yeah, we have a date tonight. Uh, somebody uh, needs to change the oil. And it's not something I want to do. It did just start raining. And I just got home from work. But it needs to happen. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> So we're going to start off by shaking the crap out of the camera. Look at that. Look at him. Just look at him. Powerful beast in there. Yeah, we're going to start off by, you know, carefully undoing the top cover. I got crust on my hands. I'm already dirty. That's no fun. I'm going to carefully look at other things that have nothing to do with what we're doing. This is your oil filter. And that's a 32 millimeter socket. So we're going to try to find if we have one of those. Call me brave, but I only have a 33 millimeter socket. Yeah, I like the party. 32, 33, eh. I think at that point, size doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, yeah, we're good. Let's turn it. Didn't even strip it. As much as I'm a fan of the performing arts, uh, no stripping today. And we're gonna make use of the uh, the jack of death here. In Okinawa, you can buy this jack, or you could buy this jack from Astro Tools. Pretty cheap, it was like 100 bucks, 150 bucks, something like that. Many people complained that this jack failed on them, so they didn't feel safe with it. I bought this jack, I think six years ago, just before I built the FD, and it has never been a pain in the ass to me. It's always worked. It actually, I broke one wheel once. That's about it. Hey, garbage truck. Now when you go to jack this sucker up, you're gonna want to find something that's either non-structural or really brittle plastic. And you're gonna wanna go until you hear a lot of crunching or the car falls off the jack. Yep, that's looking good. Yeah, don't actually do that. Find the actual jack point on the side of the car that uh, aren't gonna damage your, your stuff. Yeah. Send her to the moon. We're on it. Here we go. You'll want to track down your favorite flavor of oil pan. This is a well-seasoned one. You're cooking in a burnt pan, you fucking dick! It's been stuck under many a cars. I've kicked this one a lot, and I've made plenty of messes with this. Also, if the oil's too hot, this one gets really flimsy, and you just dump oil everywhere. I'm wiping it out because I want to make sure I don't have any metallic bits left behind. That was the whole point of me swapping the motor in the first place. If you go back a couple episodes, the old TDI here decided to chuck its guts at the track. You gave up on life, didn't you? So we did a whole new motor, injection pump, turbo, all the goodies. There we are now. Once you're under the car. Use a 19 millimeter. Make sure you got lefty loosey, righty tighty. Give the old popperino. Maybe not. Hold on. This thing's tight. Who put this on here? Incredible Hulk. All right. Ugh. See if we can do this without burning ourselves. Uh, this this oil's hot. Who I can feel it. It's always that point where you're just scared. You know. <laughs> Missed the oil pan. Oops. Let that drain on out. We'll go back to the top. Come on, you. Ah. And we're going to go ahead and pull the filter out. Oh, good. I just dumped oil all over everything. I'd say that was about to do for a change. Just trying to get some of the old oil out of the filter housing there. Black oil. Definitely time for a change. Got your filter, which goes in something like that. Nipple goes down. Always down for nipples, remember that. Hey David, hi, is there a problem here? Make sure it seats. It'll make a little pop and you're in. This cap has an O-ring on it. Your new filter should come with an O-ring. You wanna swap those out. We'll stand out here in the rain and finagle this O-ring off this here cap. Yep, just like that. 
before you put the o-ring on the cap you're gonna want to take a little bit of oil on your finger take the o-ring oh that's the old o-ring take the new o-ring not the old one it's just working around a little bit make sure you get a little bit of oil on that o-ring that way it slides nicely into place carefully pull it down and around make sure it seats in its groove you're good to go new o-ring in place no big deal Jack this sucker on up again. All right. Where is it? Wait for it. It's in here. I know it. Ah, oh, there it is. A new drain plug. Yep, it's definitely oily. All right, get that out of the way. Try carefully to get our drain plug out. How are you supposed to do this with oily hands? All right, now that we've outsmarted the child safe packaging, who's the child you might ask? Me. Haha! <laughs> and just come right over here and make sure it's cross threaded real good. Nothing holds like a good cross thread. Just treat it like your brake lines. Oh yeah, we just stuck the thing. Way to go, guy. Making a mess of the equipment. Make sure it's torqued to 22 foot pound. Mm, yep, good. And make sure you drag this out and make a huge mess. Nailed it. Oh no, we lost a leg. Thought I'd try out my sea legs. But you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. <laughs> Tripod leg. Depending on who you ask, it's a good idea to put a little oil in the filter housing. And you grab the old lady's she whiz, make sure it's nice and clean. Only a, bit, a little bit of crud. Those kidney stones are getting kind of large. She'll be all right. Oh yeah. Birthing a tiny animal. A little sand never hurt anybody, right? Rain's really starting to come down now. Make sure that's nice and cross-threaded in there. The old 33 millimeter back on there. Uh, there's probably some sort of torque spec for this, but yep, good enough. When the shoe is installed, you're ready for some oil. A lot of odd noises happening right now between the rain and the oil. And I should probably pull the dipstick and check to see if it's full, but we'll just assume it is. Fuel filter. Yeah, and just like everything else, filter. Gotta love it. Here it is. One of these has a, a nut on it. Your guess is as good as mine as to why it has a nut on it. Anywho. Mm-hmm. Nut just gonna pop off. That'd be too easy. The fuel in there actually looks really clean, but the filter itself is a little dirty. Like everything else, since you got fuel and crud all over your hands, wipe her down. You got an O-ring up in here. That's what this O-ring is. Snag that sucker on out of there. And once it's out of there, you can just go ahead and fling it in the neighbor's yard. Take your new O-ring. Again, make sure it's good and lubricant head. Cram it in the old cram hole. Cram it up your cram hole. Okay, we're getting fuel everywhere. That looks good. We're on there. We got one fuel filter. Mm, looks like there's a little crud in the housing, so we're gonna have to clean that out. I don't know if you can see it. A couple black spots right in the center. So we'll clean that out. We're gonna do this the hard way, a few tablespoons at a time. It may actually be faster just sop it all up the rags. Alright, we got all the crap out of it. O-rings on, filters going in. Oop. Make sure it seats. Sits down nicely. Cram it on home. Oop. Make sure your screwdriver pulls down in your radiator fan. 
Oh, went all the way through. Good to go. Five minute oil change. I don't know if that was actually five minutes. Probably took a little longer than that, but it is officially raining. <clears throat> Before you put your cover back on, make sure you test start it, because you never know. Remember kids, always fill your fuel filter with fuel, or you'll have to do that. You just crank it over till it fires off. Give this the old slapperino. All right. No leaks, no smoke. Engine actually sounds a lot happier too when you do this to pour as much as you can on the floor and the surrounding area. Okay. Blackened and befouled tonight by the biggest oil spill in American history. 240,000 barrels. That was a joke. I didn't actually need to do that. Oh, God. Yeah, so I think from now on I'm just going to put it in my big jug and take it to the parts store for recycling. That's about it. Oh, I broke the tripod again. Anyway. What are you gonna do? It's raining, had to do it, car's done. I'm tired and cranky, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a night and edit this video and maybe have it up Tuesday or Wednesday. Who knows, who cares, have a good day.